Welcome back to Cord Cutting in Sports. Uh, this video is going to show you how you can uh, download, basically save, uh, replays of ESPN events. So events that aired on ESPN channels, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, SEC Network, so on and so forth, um, using the program Streamlink, and it is updated for 2022. Uh, just to show you that it is currently still working. So just a couple things um, that I've kind of got set up and prepared uh, before you know I go ahead and get started. Obviously, I'm at the uh, Watch ESPN, you know, basically website, just ESPN.com/watch or WatchESPN.com. I've already signed in with my credentials. Uh, also, uh, I'm in Chrome. I went to uh, the three dots up here and went to More Tools. I went to Developer Tools, or you can hit Control plus Shift plus I. That's what opens this menu down here at the bottom of the page. Make sure the Network tab is highlighted. In addition to that, I have uh, the following things open. I have a blank notepad file and it has two different commands in it. The first is basically just the Streamlink command that I'm going to run. Um, and I'm just going to have to paste a URL into it, and then after I do that, I'll copy it and run it. <clears throat> and the second is a command that I'm going to run uh, for FFmpeg. That's going to take the file that I download, which is going to be a TS or transport stream file, and it's going to convert it to an MKV, uh, basically a different type of video codec. In addition to that, I also have already opened a command prompt. You know, I just went to start, type CMD. That brings up the command prompt. And I went ahead and I navigated to the directory where I have my Streamlink program installed. So if you've installed Streamlink, um, just using the default settings, it's probably going to be something very similar to what you see on the screen here. All right, so with all that being said, just real quick, I am going to go through just what the steps are going to be, and then, uh, and you should see them on the screen as well. Then after that, we'll actually go through the process. So essentially what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to find an event, I'm going to start playing that event, then once that event starts playing, I'm going to copy a URL from that event. Specifically, it's going to be a URL that has MPD in it. Then I'm going to take that URL, I'm going to paste it into Notepad, I'm going to change the, the basically the .mpd in the URL to m3u8. Then I'm going to take that new URL with the m3u8 in it, and I'm going to put that in my Streamlink command. I'm then going to run the Streamlink command in the command prompt. Then I'll wait for the the um, the event to finish downloading. Then I will uh, basically go ahead and execute ffmpeg, and that's going to convert the TS file that I originally downloaded using Streamlink to an MKV file. And then at that point, I'm pretty much done, and I will go ahead then and just play it uh, for you, just to show you that it did download properly and you know and is playing properly. Um, and that's pretty much it. So first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the schedules and replays tab. All right, once that loads, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to pick uh, either ESPN or ESPNU, see if I can find something to download here. And I'm also going to make sure I click on Replay, because I'm going to download a, again, this is to show how to download a replay of an event that already happened. There will be another separate video to show you how to save live events that are currently going on. Okay, so I'm going to select ESPN2, and let's go ahead and download today's episode of NFL Live. So we'll click on that. It should start playing automatically, but if not, you can obviously click the play button to get it going. Okay, there is the link with the MPD file. So I'm going to copy that. I'll go back to my notepad. Okay, I just pasted the entire long link here. I just need to change this dot mpd into m3u8 and I'll take the entire file and I'll go back to my stream link command I'll replace you know this little part here with it so just copy and paste it and now I'm gonna go ahead copy 
this whole thing. Now we'll go to the command prompt, right click to paste it, hit enter. All right, took a while uh, to get started there. Not sure why, it usually doesn't take that long. But um, anyways, it has now opened. Also, you can see there it's got different available streams. Even though 720, uh, 720p Alt 2 is not listed all the way at the far right, it actually is uh, generally, I find, to be the highest quality stream. So I'm going to let this go ahead and finish downloading. It'll probably take a couple minutes. I will cut out the time in the video, so I'm obviously not going to make you sit here and watch the entire video um, you know, as it's scrolling through, but I'll resume the video right after it finishes downloading. Okay, it's now finished uh, downloading the episode, so the next step is to go ahead <coughs> and now run FFmpeg, convert that TS file to an MKV file, just so it's because uh, the TS files from ESPN sometimes are not um, uh, not good, sometimes not good quality files in terms of playing them. All right, so now we'll go ahead and basically copy this command. I uh, don't want to execute it here because I just need to move to the FFmpeg directory. So now we'll go ahead and run that. And then when this is done, which uh, shouldn't take too long, uh, basically then I'm going to play the file just to confirm the video works and the audio works, but I'll probably have to do them uh, separately just to you know, avoid any uh, copyright issues. Okay, so it looks like it is done. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to navigate just to the FFmpeg directory, uh, just my other monitor. So you won't see that, but now I'm going to go ahead and play the file. Okay, so this is the file I downloaded. I'm just going to jump ahead. Okay, looks like NFL Live. Yep, looks like it's the whole show. Appears to be about 45 minutes uh, in total. Yeah, a little over, almost 46 minutes. You know, just if we jump to the end, and then now I'm going to keep it playing, uh, but I will turn the audio on just to confirm that the audio downloaded uh, properly as well. <coughs> Let me go back, back to a show part just so it's not in a commercial. Back room change it all after seeing how they played this weekend in preseason. So you should be hearing no, I audio. No, I still think uh, um, Trubisky has a hold on the right job, now, but obviously uh, it's a play setter for Kenny Pickett. Okay, I'll just mute it for a second. And you should be hearing the audio, just confirming that the file downloaded, the audio plays, video plays, everything works perfectly. Anyway, going to sway his decision on who their starting quarterback will be. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Again, on how you can download replays of uh, ESPN events, so anything from like ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, SEC Network, ACC Network, any of the ESPN, you know, basically family of channels. Again, this is using Streamlink. Uh, you can also use YouTube DL. I'm going to make a separate video on that, you know, updated uh, for this, you know, for this year, 2022 20, uh, football season coming up. Um, and I also have videos as well showing you how you can save uh, live events, meaning events that are currently airing on, you know, an ESPN channel. Um, and I've also got videos out there currently about ESPN Plus um, and ESPN3 as well. Uh, I mean, I made uh, probably won't do new videos for those um, because the ones from last year for those still hold up. Um, because for those, you just have to use the M3U8 file. You don't have to change the MPD to an M3U8, but you can download and save uh, those events using Streamlink, using YouTube DL as well. So check out those other videos on my channel. Otherwise, leave me a comment um, on this video to let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns.